The last epistle in the New Testament is a letter written to seven churches located in Asia Minor. Unique in the way in which the message is delivered, the letter has generated much discussion over the years. In this video, we'll look at the New Testament Book of Prophecy. There's one book in this category, which is the last book in the New Testament physically and chronologically. This book is Revelation. Let's take a closer look at the book. John was the last apostle living at the end of the first century. In 95 to 96 AD, he was banished to the island of Patmos by the emperor Domitian. While there, John received a vision from Christ intended for seven congregations in the area of Asia Minor. These churches were commended, admonished, and rebuked by the Lord and given direction for what needed to be done or corrected. The letter is written in figurative language, with an added note that the things John saw were to shortly come to pass. Due to the nature of these images, the book has proven difficult to understand and is the subject of a wide range of interpretations that extend into the modern era. A study of the book in comparisons to Ezekiel and Daniel demonstrates that while the writing is somewhat different from the other volumes that make up the New Testament, the letters from God, as can be seen in the various images, and overall language. The book contains elements of the Law of Moses, as well as references to things that Christians would have recognized in the first century. The book ends with a view of judgment and a warning that no part of the prophecy is to be altered, which mirrors similar warnings about all scripture found throughout the Bible. There are several perspectives used to interpret Revelation, some of which create problems with what other scriptures teach. In spite of specific interpretations of the various signs given to John, the theme of the book is that one can be faithful in spite of persecution and that God exercises judgment and control over worldly powers. The book emphasizes faithfulness and reminds us of the crown of life to be given to those who are faithful unto death. In the next video, we'll examine a timeline of biblical history.